Let's review this question. A client presents to the emergency department with complaints of fever, cough, malice, and a rash. Now, appearing as vesicles most prominently on the face, palm of the hands, and soles of the feet. What is the initial action? Many students, when they read this question, they think of varicella zoster. But remember this, varicella does not go to the palm of the hands or soles of the feet. So it cannot be varicella. What we're talking about is smallpox, which is very contagious. One, send the patient back to the waiting room and infect everybody else. Mm, that doesn't make much sense. A and B are opposite to each other. B says, place the client in negative pressure and implement airborne precaution. This is very important. It's opposite to A. A says, do not put the patient in any type of precaution, send them back to the room, to the waiting room. B says, no, we have to use some kind of precaution and prevent further transmission of the disease. So B, airborne precaution. C, call the physician. Yes, we have to call the physician at one point in time, but it's not the first initial action. If you can do something that helps prevent the spread of the disease, you have to do it before you call a doctor. So C, we can eliminate. D also talks about a precaution, but it says contact precaution. You have to remember, is smallpox airborne or contact? Smallpox is an airborne pathogen. So the correct answer will be B.